guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be turning my rat's triple critter nation into a quadruple critter nation. Or more accurately, I'm going to be adding a second unit to my single critter nation uh, because I actually have two groups currently, with my larger group of six living in the bottom critter nation double, uh, and my group of four living in the single critter nation top. Although that is going to change today because I'm going to be adding another unit to that top so that those rats also have a double critter nation. Back in February of this year, I adopted three senior rats, uh, and they came to me with a single critter nation cage unit. Uh, that is to say, their owner was nice enough to give it to me for free because they could no longer have rats. Anyways, I wanted to add this to my cage for a long time. However, unfortunately, one of my older rats in the group of six does not get along with new rats. And even after really extensive intros, it takes her a long time to bond with new rats. And it's a very stressful process on both ends. And after trying to bond her and her group to the new three girls, I ultimately decided it just wasn't worth it because it was too stressful and she is very old and has some health issues. Uh, so it's just better to wait until she passes away, unfortunately, uh, before joining my groups. Anyways, unfortunately the three rats that I got were quite old when I got them, which was something I knew getting them, but still it does mean that I knew I was going to have them for a pretty short time period, and as a result unfortunately I ended up losing one and having to put to sleep another in the following months after I got them. So ultimately I was left with one senior girl, and I recently got three young rats and put them in with her and they get along super well, but now that I have babies in the cage I really feel like they need a little bit more space, and because of that I'm finally going to be adding in this last unit. Uh, and I also think that my older girl is going to like it quite a bit because she originally lived in a quadruple critter nation with 13 other cage mates, so she's used to a lot of space, although her owner did downgrade them all to a single critter nation uh, in the last few months that she had them because unfortunately she had some health issues that made it difficult to keep up with their care, uh, which is why she actually ended up rehoming them. But anyways, I think my old girl and her three new baby friends are really going to enjoy having a double critter nation as opposed to a single, and since I've decided I'm not going to introduce any more rats to my large group until one of my oldest girls passes. Um, that is my oldest girl who has issues with new rats, uh, otherwise known as my girl Donut, um, who some of you might know if you're watching this when it comes out. But anyway, since I've decided that, I've decided to go ahead and finally add in this last unit uh, so that both groups can have their double critter nations. Okay, so now that that backstory is out of the way, I want to go ahead and assemble this second unit. So there are a few different ways that you can add another unit onto a critter nation. Technically, these cages are only supposed to be infinitely expandable upwards. That is to say, you're supposed to be able to add new units on top of each other. That's exactly what they're designed for. However, because of how modular this cage is, you can just remove one of the side doors and zip tie units together, and that will allow you to have a cage that's a lot longer than it is taller. So that's what I did with my bottom two units. Uh, they are fully open in the middle, and like I said, they house my group of six. However, with the top unit, and the new unit that I'm adding, I decided that I'm going to be adding it the traditional way, which is to say I'm going to be adding them vertically instead of horizontally. Now as for why I'm adding it this way instead of adding it sideways for more floor space, uh, this is something I've thought of for a while, and ultimately part of it just comes down to convenience. Uh, I like to use the other side of the cage to house my hospital cage, which is where I give my rat donut her medications, and also where I give her all of her supplementary feedings and supplements. And I've been doing that for nearly eight months now, and it's just easier to keep that cage there, especially since I don't really have another storage place for it. And because of that, if I were to add another unit there, then I wouldn't really be able to put the hospital cage in the same place. And on top of that, I also use that area to store some things during free range, like my training supplies. So it's just less convenient to me if I were to assemble the double horizontally instead of vertically. So I don't think they're going to lack there. And as all of those rats are still very agile and active, uh, especially the babies, but also tater tot to some extent. Uh, and I'm trying to encourage her to be more active because she's a little bit chunky as an old rat. In this case, vertically just works a little bit better for me, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so to add in this new unit, I have a few options. Uh, technically, I could take the lid off of my top unit and just put the new unit right on top of it, uh, and that would work just fine. However, as you'll notice, my lid is not the traditional Critter Nation lid. It is instead a completely different lid from another cage, and I've attached it using some metal zip ties. And that means that if I want to take it off, I will have to cut all those metal zip ties, and then when I want to put it back on, I'd have to put more metal zip ties. And basically, it would just be a bit of a waste, uh, both time-wise and just a waste of zip ties. Uh, so personally, I prefer not to do that, and instead what I'm going to do is just lift off the single upper unit as its own piece. I ended up taking out the metal pans in my cage first, and after that I lifted up the single unit as one piece, 
took it off, put it to the side. Now, once I had taken the upper unit off, the next thing to do was to build the new unit on top of the base cage. So I went ahead and started to build it using the four sides. And I put in the lower grate that everything rests on. Uh, you can put in the grate just by slipping the little pegs into the holes on each of the Critter Nation side pieces. Then I went ahead and got my single Critter Nation unit, which I had taken off as one piece originally. And I took that and transplanted that right on top of the new unit. And since I already had the cutout pan attached, that means I'm going to be able to use pans on both units, uh, which is what I wanted. Anyways, I kind of made this step a little bit harder for me than necessary because I decided to not use a chair or stool or any sort of helpful object that would have let me carry the Critter Nation unit up instead of lifting it above my head. Uh, so that was a little bit of a misstep on my part, but thankfully after a few minutes of struggling to shove the Critter Nation above my head into the pegs of the prior Critter Nation unit, I did eventually manage to make them click and make everything sturdy. Now at this point, the only thing left with the assembly process was to put in my pans. So I went ahead and got my metal pans, which by the way, these two pans come from quality cage crafters, but I got them secondhand. And I personally recommend the bass equipment pans instead, which is what I have on my bottom double cutter nation. And that's because they're a lot cheaper and they also tend to ship a lot faster. Anyways, like I was saying, all that was left after assembling the top double was to put in the pans. So I put in the full pan on the bottom and I put the pan with the cutout on the top. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the only thing left after that was to decorate the cage, which I did. And I'll probably show you a quick clip of that, although I plan to do a cage tour of the entire thing soon. So look out for that as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think the rats are really going to enjoy this, or I should say that I know the rats are going to enjoy this because I'm recording this voiceover after I already assembled everything and put it together and have had the rats in it for like two weeks at this point. But yeah, they've really been enjoying having the extra Critter Nation unit. And I think they're really enjoying exploring the cage and just getting all that extra space, especially the babies, but also Tater taught my older girl to a big extent. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!